Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content on this channel as of late. Uh, I just felt like doing this video um, just because I've been kind of following up on the whole thing and I guess at this point I have a I have my own opinions on this whole Amber Her and Johnny Depp thing. Um, I know I said in a video or so that I wasn't going to talk about it. Um, because to me it doesn't amount to much, but um, I see how it's going to affect um, uh, uh, one person in particular with their career, and I feel that it's worth uh, uh, talking about on camera while also uh, giving my two cents on just the uh, the uh, the the trial itself from what I've seen. Um, so, uh, I don't think I'm breaking any news when I say that uh, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard have had some issues uh, for a couple of years now. Uh, they've, you know, a lot of he said, she said, you know, lots of back, back and forth. Um, Amber Heard apparently, uh, uh, and this is all from the trial, by the way. This is all the information that I've gathered from the trial. <clears throat> thus far. It's still going on right now. It's a six-week uh, trial, so we're halfway through it now. Um, uh, and from what I've gathered from it, um, uh, Amber Heard put out an article in 2016 basically uh, accusing Johnny Depp of a bunch of things that he has done. And uh, uh, from that, from that uh, Johnny has been trying to uh, clarify on those statements and Amber has been trying to uh, show that she is this certain thing, that she is a victim to, to violence and to sexual abuse and uh, all sorts of things. Um, and uh, this trial, uh, or actually the UK trial, uh, Johnny lost uh, and that was towards, uh, I believe, uh, an article. It was actually towards a, a newspaper organization, so it was not towards Amber Heard or anything like that. This is about the defamation. This is about Amber Heard. This is about all the things that she's been saying. Um, now, people have to remember, when it comes to court, it's not about looking for the truth. It's about winning the case. When you see these lawyers and you see them doing their thing, it's not about... Um, you know, searching for the truth. It's not about the truth. It's strictly about winning the case by any means necessary. And if that means bending the truth, then that's how it has to be. Um, so, so I mean, I don't really, you know, the judicial system, the court system, it's always been, uh, been sketchy to me. Um, because of the practices that they, that lawyers do and just the methods that they that they take um, in order to prove their point, basically trying to win their win the case. Um, um, in talking about this trial, though, um, strictly talking about Johnny's testimony and all the statements that have been coming out, um, and all the other people that have um, that have uh, made their statements from like Johnny's. Uh, family and uh, just today with uh, a uh, psychologist. Um, to me, unless, you know, Amber has something that she, uh, that she is waiting to spill at a certain point, um, it's very clear to me that Amber is not a victim of violence. Um, she is not a victim of sexual abuse. Um, it doesn't seem that way. Um, again, I'm only basing that on certain information that I've heard from the trial and from watching a good portion of the trial um, take place from, you know, uh, Johnny defending uh, is uh, defending or talking about his career, talking about um, his, uh, his uh, past with his dad, uh, with uh, uh, talking about... Uh, uh, his relationship with Amber and a lot of the audio that was revealed through there um, from Amber's lawyer being a really terrible lawyer. Um, like, 
for some reason his favorite phrase is hearsay. I, I heard that a lot throughout the trial. Hearsay, hearsay, objection, objection. Uh, he also objected his own question, which was... Anyway, um, just, you know. Um, so it's it's been pretty one-sided. I would say this trial's been pretty one-sided. You can you can tell who who is the favorite, um, and you can also tell based on my statements who I believe in this trial thus far. Um, um, just to get straight to the point, um, it's very clear to me that Amber is a narcissist. Uh, she suffers very much from narcissism. Um, and I know this based on my own experience with narcissism. Um, I'm not going to say who in my family, but I have dealt with two narcissists. Um, I used to live with two narcissists for uh, five or six years of my life. <clears throat> I eventually left that house for those reasons and other reasons. Um, but the recordings that I heard from the, the trial just how Amber talked to Johnny and just the, the language of it. It's very familiar to me. I, I have dealt with that type of person before. I have dealt with that type of attitude before. And I completely understand Johnny's frustrations with it. Because for, for those who don't know what narciss, narcissism is, it's a person who doesn't hold themselves accountable. Uh, they have something in their mind that cannot... You know, they don't have that type of compassion or that type of self-awareness to where they can see what their actions and what their words may do to a certain person. They're not aware of that. Um, and they will, you know, start to, uh, without knowing, like victim blaming and um, doing a lot of things that actually really hurt a person. Um and they are, they cannot in their head figure out that maybe it's me, you know. At least that's my experience with narcissism is that it's just somebody who doesn't want to admit that they are the problem. Um, and that they, um, that, that they, uh, that they are doing something wrong, you know. Um, so... Um, and, and there's more to it, obviously, but that's just an abbreviated uh, version of what I think narcissism is. Um, and uh, just the uh, uh, the mood swings also, like, you know, those are things I also experienced quite a bit um, with the people that I had, I had lived with. Um, the attacks that come out of nowhere, just the... the uh, you know, like a lot of that toxic behavior is stuff that I have personally have endured, and I I can absolutely relate to Johnny in that in that type of respect. Um, and I left my house, I left that house because of of of, of said behavior. I, I just couldn't tolerate it anymore. It was very uh, uh, suffocating, and um, uh, it was just driving me insane. So I understand what, why Johnny reacts the way he did. And based on the trial, I don't see anything super violent from him. I don't see anything really, anything violent to begin with. Um, uh, getting back to Amber, though, um, it's the opposite. I see many things with her beyond just narcissistic qualities. I see a person who is very unstable. I see somebody who is, um, who needs help. She needs medical attention. They like they brought up the psychologist today, and they they brought something pretty important to the table, which is that she doesn't suffer from PTSD. She doesn't suffer from anything. She doesn't suffer from anything that would that would uh uh. That would immediately that would immediately make someone go, oh, okay, uh, Johnny, do you have anything to say about that? You know, like there's no correlation, you know. Uh, at least that's what the psychologist is saying. Um, also, this isn't really a mental health issue, just my personal opinion. Like this whole tr like they're bringing up mental health within this trial, and also 
drug abuse and stuff like that, it plays a part into it, but we're talking about uh, just what's laid out in front of us. Is this true? Is the the statements made true? Uh, and uh, how did we get to said place? You know, that's it. That's to me what's important. That this stuff is just minor details. These are things that, as we've now seen, uh, don't really hold a candle to the main issues at play, you know, because uh, they've been, they were like grilling Johnny with like his drug abuse and his personal life. And it, it as Johnny made clear, it's like, yeah, I did do drugs, but it never really impacted our relationship, you know. So, um, so, um, so, you know, I think it's pretty clear at this point that Amber is, you know, guilty and she's, you know, really, you know, um, gone out of her way to just try to make Johnny into this, like, monster, when really she's been the monster this whole time. Um, and it's it's kind of sickening to hear those those audio clips and just the phrase that I that 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 struck me the most and the one that he where it immediately hits uh, came to my head that oh yeah she's definitely a narcissist is when she uh, when she said oh I didn't punch you I just hit you you know those types of remarks those types of uh, statements so that attitude is exactly what a narcissist is like and I have I have heard variations of that of those kinds of statements with the two narcissists that I had lived with I, I have heard those many times I've heard like I was like you, you couldn't you don't even have to be a part of the conversation and that person would uh, one of those people that I lived with would like like attack me even though I'm not even a part of the conversation you know uh, for example, like if these two were having an argument, the the one of these people would would yell my name, um, and you know, like say like you know, thanks, thanks, you know, like in a remark of like like I'm somehow to blame for this argument taking place, even though I had nothing to do with said argument, you know, like like these sorts of attitudes and these statements that Amber made in those audio clips, it's exactly what a narcissist is. And I have dealt with that behavior. I know what that looks like. Um, and uh, I've not dealt with it to the extremes that Johnny has. Like, thankfully, I've not um, had any, like, uh, physical things happen, um, at least anything extensive, like, you know, uh, like Johnny has. Um, but... Um, but it's it's just it, it's really sad to see you know this trial even take place you know like Johnny has been clear throughout the whole trial like you know we didn't have to do this you know I didn't want to do this you know this I never wanted to do this um, and I, now I need to because I want to be able to clear my name and you know be able to have some you know. Uh, relief and you know we get afforded some kind of happiness you know like it's a really sad you know thing when you like put it all in perspective but now that I've you know laid out my thoughts about Amber her and you know the whole trial thing going on what does this mean for her future because she got Aquaman 2 coming around the corner it comes in December or so I mean it's around the corner I mean, she got we got a few months which actually is actually, you know, depending on how this trial ends, you know, whoever wins and all that stuff, because I think that that's what the company, Warner Brothers, because I know that they're watching this trial. They, because they, when they saw the UK trial with, and when Johnny lost that one, um, you know, they plucked him away from all his franchises just like that. They plucked him away from Fantastic Beasts and then Disney followed suit and all that stuff. Um, so I think that Warner Brothers might be just waiting for the results to come from this trial. Um, and based on that, they'll figure out what to do with Amber Heard because there's, the, the, at this point, it's unacceptable to have Amber Heard be a part of any of your franchises. It's just completely unacceptable. When you, 
when you are reading the court statements, when you are seeing what's being told, and you're hearing these audio clips, like, 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 I really don't care what Amber presents at this point. Like, it, the fact of the matter is, is that it's, you, you are, you were, were violent and you were being abusive and you were being manipulative and you were absolutely a narcissist. These types of behaviors should not be tolerated um, or be given any kind of, you know, privilege, you know, she should not be an Aquaman too. She should be removed. She should be recast and she, cause they have a, a lot of time so they can, they can, you know, I'm pretty, and I'm pretty sure that her role is small in Aquaman 2 anyway, so I'm pretty sure that they can recast it because they were not going to let her be a poster, you know, a poster uh, thing. Uh, she's just a name on the poster. You're not going to see her like a big freaking character poster or anything like that. I know we know, I, I know that WB did not allow her to have a big role in Aquaman 2. Um, so, um, you know, I think it's, I think it's possible. I think that we can do, we can recast. And I think that it's, you know, like I, 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 it, it's different from the Ezra Miller situation because Ezra Miller is the star of your movie. Like he, he is what's on the poster, you know, like that's, and he is the main character of your film. He also plays like, like multiple characters, apparently like with the whole multiverse thing going on. Um, so that's a different circumstance. Amber Heard is a side character or supporting character, you can recast that. Um, so I think that they're just waiting on this trial to end, and then we're going to see them make an announcement of some kind, um, you know, about, you know, what happens to Amber Heard's uh, future. Um, and to those asking, you know, is Johnny Depp going to have a future in Hollywood? Absolutely not. Um, I mean, it's sad to say that, but it's, it's also really true. Johnny even himself said that at one point in the trial, saying that he knows that his career is over. He knows that he doesn't have a career and that this is this is the last thing or really the only thing that people will remember him for. It's it's sad. It's really, really sad um, because, you know, we live in the age of social media. We also live in um, a bit of an ignorant time. Uh, some people just, you know, don't wish they just wish to like just read a headline or just assume certain things and just move on, you know, and they don't give people second chances or a, a chance for redemption, you know, um, you know, and a lot of cases that we've seen in the past few years, it's completely understandable. You know, some people, depending on what they did, shouldn't have that type of privilege. You know, they shouldn't be given that chance, you know, but for Johnny, it's, you know, at least to me, it's pretty clear that I think that's he is owed a second chance, but I don't think that Hollywood's going to give it to him at this point because he's been removed for so long now. Um, so, uh, so yeah, uh, it's a really sad uh, story when you you know really dig into it and you finally start to see what the real truth of it all is um i mean amber is kind of despicable um you know uh again she's clearly a narcissist to me uh, i've seen that behavior i've dealt with that behavior i know what it's like um and um like you know like i've gone to therapy for it like i i i, I had to deal with you know, the, the deal with the, my own feelings, you know, from that, you know, um, like, like, you know, it left an impact on me. So, you know, uh, and like, it's not an easy thing to, to, to live with. It's also not an easy thing to, to, uh, like, Anyone who's ever dealt with a narcissist knows that it's it's just hell, you know. It's just it's 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 just a really really a really tough thing to deal with, and it 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 really hurt. It mentally it's it it leaves an impact. So, um, but also you know, 
other reasons as well as to, as to why I'm, I went to therapy and all that stuff. I still, I still, I still go to therapy, but it's for many other reasons as well. That's just a, one of the many reasons why I'm, I'm in therapy, just to clarify. Um, but, um, but yeah, this whole trial um, so far, it's been pretty black and white to me, pretty crystal clear as to who's been, who's the abuser and who's been doing all these bad things. Like, you know, it's pretty clear to me and I hope that studios will actually respond to it, you know? You know, don't do what you guys have been doing with Ezra Miller where you guys are just, you know, hush hush on it. This is a very, very public trial. This is a very public thing that's going on. Um, so I hope that um, that they will make some action. Um, the trial, there's videos of the trial online everywhere. People are talking about it. It is not like the Ezra Miller situation where you have to read about it. This is something that you're actually seeing. This is stuff that you're actually hearing. Like, I, I, I hope that WB and other, other people associated with Amber Heard in terms of like movie, co movie uh, companies or production companies, I hope that they respond to this trial. And if, like I said, just based on everything I've heard, I hope that that response is that, Ms. Heard, we are removing you from Aquaman 2. We cannot, uh, we do not feel that it is appropriate to have you in relations to our company at this time. Uh, you know, like, I hope that that is the words towards Amber because, like, it, I can't really be upset, like, I, because, um, I'm, I'm actually extremely sympathetic for Johnny because again, I, like I've reiterated a few times, I, I understand to an extent, um, what that behavior is like, you know, again, not, he's, he's dealt with a more uncontrollable, uh, version than I have, but I can relate to dealing with, uh, a narcissist, um, and, you know, the, mentally what that does to you. Um, so, um, yeah, so I, I hope that Amber gets what he, what she deserves. Um, and I hope that Johnny, you know, hopefully finds, uh, peace, um, and is able to, uh, move forward as an artist. Cause I really like him as a performer. I think that he's a very unique performer. Um, so, you know, I hope that we get to see him more in the future. Uh, he did a film not too long ago called uh, Minyamata, which uh, came out this year on a VOD. Maybe I might do a first impressions video on that. Who knows? Um, but yeah, uh, this uh, this trial has been really revealing, and um, it's oddly relatable to me in some regards. Again, Johnny has dealt with quite a bit. Um, and, you know, I can relate to, uh, relate in some ways, you know, not in all ways, but in some ways. So, um, and from that, I can, I can, I, I, I could, I, I, I don't believe that he's lying. I, I don't believe that he's, um, uh, you know, I mean, like I said, court cases, you know, sometimes they bend the truth a little bit just to, to have it uh, be in their favor, but I don't see that a lot in in Johnny's statements or really Benny. Uh, with Amber's lawyers and, and, you know, all the stuff they've been saying and just how they're navigating this whole trial, I see a lot of that. I see a lot of trying to bend the truth, trying to manipulate information. Um, I, like, like, Amber's lawyer is a classic example of 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 a, of a lawyer. Johnny's and the, how they're dealing with it is a lot more professional and a lot more um, realistic and also a lot more truthful. Like, I I I completely am am with Johnny um, right now, um, and I hope that he wins the case. I, I hope that he is able to find peace after all this is said and done, so.
So yeah, those are my thoughts on this whole thing. I just wanted to kind of let uh, fi let out my thoughts, uh, you know, because we're finally at this point where we can, you know, let this let this be let this go, uh, you know, at least in terms of like the social media thing, because I've been hearing about this for years. So I'm glad that we're finally at this point and we're finally, um, you know, just gonna move on from it. Um, Obviously, for Johnny and Amber, it's a completely different situation. Um, but yeah, just all this information coming out is really sad. And I think Amber should really consider going to therapy, maybe being, I wouldn't say, uh, maybe institutionalized. I don't know. Depends on how extreme her uh, conditions are. But, um, but yeah. But yeah, it's it's a very, very sad situation, and I hope that it it, it has its its, ha its happy ending. So, with with, with whatever the uh, conclusion of this trial will be, you know, I hope it's I hope that it ends with Johnny winning and he gets his his happy ending. So, so yeah, that's it for my thoughts on that. I hope you guys, you know, I, I know that this is a weird topic to talk about, um, but. I sincerely hope that studios respond to it. That's my main point of making this video is that I hope studios respond to it. Don't do what you guys have been doing with Ezra Miller because he needs to be removed too. He needs to be removed from Hollywood as well. She needs to be removed as well. I'm sorry. I, the, these attitudes cannot be tolerated. So, so yeah. So hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, Hollywood will respond this time so uh but we'll see so that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it you guys let me know your thoughts be civil because i know people are all like oh johnny or amber you know it's a very you know people are very uh as i say it, they're very uh active on this subject so just be civil in the comments uh be 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 nice to me you know i it's just my opinion um but but, but yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Probably a first impressions video. Maybe another topic video. Who knows? I'm pretty, uh, you know, just kind of letting how, whatever I feel like doing, I just do it. So that's kind of how it goes on this channel. But, but that's it for this video. I've said it like five times already. <laughs> I mean it this time. That's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.